Okay, this is a quick video on view mixins. I'll walk through on creating a very basic mixin. Uh, mixin is basically uh, a way to create some reusable code and share that across some files. So we're going to do this in view three, and I'm at codesandbox.io, so I can just create a quick project. So I'll start by creating a new one, new view three project. Okay, so we've got a project up and running and we're gonna do a few things here. Uh, we're gonna start with, uh, we'll create a new component here. And we'll create a couple of components first that have identical code inside of them that are using the exact same JavaScript, and then we'll move that into the mixin file. So what I'll do here is I'll create a new component here. We'll call it component one. And inside of component one, I need to do some work. Okay. And let's just create a div in here, and we'll just create an H1. Okay. So then uh, we need to import this component one. From components, uh, we call this Component one dot view. And let's declare it component one here. Component one. Give us a couple of saves here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this hello world. Let's type out hello from component one so we can actually output something on the screen. There we go. So now we are nicely importing simple component one. It just has an H1 inside of it. Let's go ahead and do a little file cleanup because so we don't need these, nor do we need this. And we don't need this either. So let's get rid of hello world. There we go. Okay. So let's uh, let's create a little bit of JavaScript here. And a little bit of style. Okay. So let's create some very basic things. Let's output some text onto the page. Uh, we'll just do a quick p tag and some. We'll just say some info. So that should output some some uh, some info there. Just some text. Actually, not sure why I didn't complete that. Let's give it a refresh. Let's see if it. There we go. There's all of our text. And then let's do a method as well. So we'll just make a click this method and we'll wire it to a button. 
And all this is going to do is just do an alert, something really basic that we can see. And we'll call it, say, alert from, from the click this method. Okay. So then let's uh, let's make a button. And let's do a break here and a button. Okay, it's a quick, simple button. And on click, it's going to call, click this right there. And the button will just say, click me. Okay. Great, that works. Let's add just a tiny bit of style to this. Because what I want to do is I want to make another component. And then I'll have the exact same JavaScript inside that component. And then I will take that JavaScript out of it uh, and, and move it into the mix-in. So let's call this uh, – we'll make a component one class, very simple class. And I'm going to copy-paste here. There we go. Okay. So simple class. Just did some very light styling here just so we can differentiate this from component two. So let's now create component two. Let's copy everything inside of here like that. And we're going to want to create a new file and we're just going to call it component two dot view inside of here we're going to paste this in we'll say this is component two we'll change the class to component two class and we'll change the color here to light coral okay great then we'll go back to the app let's uh, output this onto the page so component two, and that's why I called it component one. Component two makes it really quick and simple for me to copy paste. So component two and component two. And let's give that a refresh. There we go. So now we have component one and component two. It has the exact same, because we just copied and pasted, it has the exact same uh, script inside of it here. If we click these, they'll show some alerts. So now let's take this and let's move this code into a mixin so we could reuse it. So first thing that I'm going to do so I'm going to create a new folder for the mixin, and we'll call it mixins. And inside of that, we want to create a file, and we're just going to call it some mixin.js. It's a .js file, not a .view. Okay, so this is step one. Okay, so we did that. Then what we want to do is we want to grab, uh, we want to grab this code, this script code here, and we want to put it inside the mixin. So we'll say step two. Put the mixing code into the mixin, uh, into the mixin file. Okay, and then uh, let's change this alert to say alert from the click this method located in the mixin. Okay.
So then what we wanna do is we can remove all this code from in here. We don't need this anymore inside of our component one because we moved it to the mix in, but instead we're gonna import it. So we'll say step three, import the mix in for use in a component. So we are going to write out import some mix in from, and then the file location. Is the mixins folder some mixin dot js? And actually, oh, I've got a typo here. This doesn't go inside the export default. It needs to go outside of that. There we go. Much better. Okay, and let's uh, move this note to where it actually should be here. There we go. Okay, and then inside the export default, we need to add in this line of code here for the mixin, because we're bringing it in, we gotta do something with it. So some mixin. And it does not like my file path. What did I type wrong? Let's just try refreshing this, see if that solves it. Oh, found it. I missed a slash there. That should solve it. There we go. Okay, so now component two, we haven't, we're not using the mix and we're still using the component two mix in. So if I click that, or the component two is using its own code still. So we're getting the alert from the click this method. But if you see component one, when I click this, the text in here, click this method located in the mix in. So we're now wired up to using the mix in. Let's write out the last step here. So what we can do now is we can just wire it up to component two. So what we'll do is we'll grab all this script right here, copy that, we'll go into component two. We don't need any of this anymore because we're not gonna use this. We're gonna use the code in the mixin. So let's delete that and paste in step three and step four here with their mixing code. And then let's try it out. So click one, one the click this method located in the mixin, and then uh, we'll click in component two, alert from click this method located in the mixin. So that's how you do it. So quick video, hope you'd enjoyed. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. I appreciate any subscribes. And I'll see you next time.